Welcome to another episode of Comics and Pop Culture Let's Talk Shorts. I'm Billy, filling in for Andrew. Today is a sad day as we have just learned of the passing of actress Nichelle Nichols, who is best known for her role as Uhura on Star Trek. Today we will pay tribute to her career. Nichelle Nichols. Born Grace Dell Nichols December 28, 1932, July 30, 2022, was an American actress, singer, and dancer best known for her portrayal of Neota Uhura in Star Trek, the original series, and its film sequels. Nichols' portrayal of Uhura was groundbreaking for African-American actresses on American television. Permit me to introduce myself, the name is Mr. Kicks. Nichols' break came in an appearance in Kicks and Company, Oscar Brown's highly touted but ill-fated 1961 musical. In a thinly veiled satire of Playboy magazine, she played Hazel Sharp, a voluptuous campus queen who is being tempted by the devil and Orgy magazine to become Orgy Maiden of the Month. Nichols attracted the attention of Hugh Hefner, the publisher of Playboy, who booked her for his Chicago Playboy Club. She also appeared in the role of Carmen for a Chicago Stock Company production of Carmen Jones and performed in a New York production of Porgy and Bess. In January 1967, Nichols also was featured on the cover of Ebony magazine. Nichols would have bit parts in films like Porgy and Bess, Made in Paris, Mr. Budwing and Doctor, You've Got to Be Kidding. She made her acting debut on The Lieutenant, To Set It Right which is the 21st episode of the American military drama, produced for broadcast on NBC. Written by Lee Irwin, and featuring a guest cast that included Dennis Hopper, Don Marshall, Woody Strode, and Michelle Nichols. The series followed the lives of members of the United States Marine Corps stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. In this episode, after a racially driven altercation between Corporal Peter Devlin played by Dennis Hopper, and Private Ernest Cameron played by Don Marshall, Lieutenant William Rice played by Gary Lockwood, attempts to settle their issues by first arranging a boxing match, and then forcing them to work together on a march. I've got a right to feel and act like a man. Well, if jumping somebody's all it takes, then why don't you trade that nice uniform in for a funny white sheet with a pointed cap and a burning cross? Following protests by the Pentagon, who had previously aided the production of the series, the network refused to air the episode. Her first major role came in the Ron Ely television series Tarzan in 1966. The Deadly Silence was a two-part episode that was pieced together to form a theatrical release in 1970. The Colonel has sent Akata to kill you. I know. He's taken our grave and our cattle. And it's not enough. No, it's never enough. What do you want? A bucket of blood. I want the that wasted Jada. She had a large role in the black exploitation film Truck Turner. Mac Truck Turner, played by Isaac Hayes, is a former professional football player who becomes a Los Angeles based bounty hunter after an injury. Truck visits his girlfriend, Annie, who is in jail and wants to leave LA when released. Her most well known role, of course, would be that of Neota Uhura on Star Trek. When she thought of leaving the role, it was none other than Martin Luther King Jr. who convinced her to stay that would lead her to participate in network series television's first interracial kiss on the episode Plato's Stepchildren. She would also reprise the role for the animated series, which saw Uhura take command of the ship in one episode. She then appeared in all six Star Trek movies with her most memorable part being in the third film. She even appeared in fan-made episodes such as Of Gods and Men. 2008 brought us Lady Magdalene's is a film directed, written and produced by J. Neil Shulman and starring Nichelle Nichols, who also received an executive producer credit. She then appeared in True Love, the 2008 independent film written and directed by Stuart Wade. She did voice work for animated shows such as Batman, Futurama, The Simpsons, Scooby-Doo and others. She had a recurring role on the series Heroes as Nana Dawson. She also appeared in four episodes of the soap opera The Young and the Restless. Her final screen appearances would be in an episode of the short-lived TV series, Downward Dog, and a role in Sharknado 5 Global Swarming. That was our look at the film career of Nichelle Nichols, who, tragically passed away recently. I leave you with this thought from her Star Trek co-star, William Shatner, I am so sorry to hear about the passing of Nichelle. She was a beautiful woman and played an admirable character that did so much for redefining social issues both here in the US and throughout the world. I will certainly miss her. Sending my love and condolences to her family. If you enjoyed this show please click the like button and why not subscribe to the channel. Until next time this is Billy and for Kevin Gibbons saying live long and prosper. May the force be with you and keep reaching for the stars.